So the first thing we're going to do is look at the way the machine operates. All machines look slightly different and they all have slightly different modes of setting and changing the operation. But the basic function of every machine is the same. There is a top thread called the spool and a bottom thread called the bobbin, which lives in my machine underneath in a front loading bobbin just down here. Basically, you have two threads, the spool thread and the bobbin thread, and the spool thread is threaded through the needle. The needle punctures your fabric, runs the spool thread round underneath the bobbin thread like that in a loop and comes back up. And the two run parallel along the fabric like that with that kind of motion. The spool thread lives on the spool holder, which is sometimes horizontal and sometimes vertical like that. You wind your bobbin on the bobbin winder, usually at the top here. On the right hand side is a wheel called the balance wheel, which, which adjusts the height of the needle going up and down and allows you to manually walk the machine over the fabric. Your power switch is usually on the right hand side as well and that's where your power cable will come from and your, ped your cable for your pedal which runs down to the floor and sits just underneath your foot. There is a little nubbin usually on the top which tensions the thread for when you are winding your bobbin. There's a thread guide at the back. So the, sp the spool thread runs from the spool underneath the thread guide and down through two discs called the tension discs. On my machine, the tension is altered here. I'll talk to you a little bit about tension in just a minute. It runs down through the tension discs, around underneath the hook, up into the thread take-up lever. Now in my machine, the thread take-up lever does not come above the parapet, but in some machines it does. And then the thread comes back down behind this thread guide here, and then behind this thread guide here, or here, there are two of them, that's for if you're stitching with a twin needle, but this is the most forgotten thread guide of all, and it's really important, because it stops your thread being at a sharp diagonal from here down to the eye of the needle. It just allows the thread to run very closely down the shaft of the needle, and then through the eye of the needle. This bit is called your presser foot, and that is usually operated with a lever at the back of the machine. This is your base plate. On the base plate there are a number of different lines. These indicate distances from the stitch line in order to be able to help you get accurate and even seam allowances. Underneath the presser foot there are some sharp teeth here. These are called the feed dogs and these act in a circular motion in order to propel the fabric through the the machine. They go in a circular motion, they press up, they press the fabric against the foot and in so doing they push it through the machine. This symbol here is the universal symbol for backwards. So on my machine this is how I stitch backwards and we use that at the beginning and end of a line of stitching called, um, which is a technique called back tacking which we will cover later on in this session. Over here are my, my controls for altering my stitch width which is the zigzag and my stitch length, which is the straight stitch. These are fairly universal symbols. On many, many machines, you will have a series of presets, as I do here, for different stitches. Um, it just happens that on my machine, I can also alter the size and shape of those presets by playing with stitch length and stitch width. So stitch length, to remind you again, is here denoted by a dotted line, a dashed line, because you're doing long stitches, and stitch width is the zigzag, because if you put any width into your stitches, you turn it from a straight stitch into a zigzag stitch. Um, underneath the machine, you have, if you have a front-loading bobbin, you have um, a bobbin case and a bobbin itself. I'll show you how to thread those in a minute. And that is it for getting to know your sewing machine.